This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live, coming to you on location from New York City. I have with me Dr. Bob McNally, GeoVax, G-O-V-X. It's a publicly traded company. Bob, welcome back to SNN Live. Shelley, it's a pleasure to be here. It's good to have you. Let's get an overview on GeoVax, and then we'll go from there. Sure. GeoVax is a clinical stage biotechnology company headquartered in Atlanta. And we actually have a leading vaccine for HIV, a preventive HIV vaccine for North America. And then we're working on a second generation Ebola vaccine. Well, I also like when I have you on to just give an indication that being in Atlanta puts you where? Yeah, that's Atlanta. Atlanta is centric to HIV. A lot of the drugs that people are taking were developed at Emory University. Our vaccine uh, came from Emory University. And then for the Ebola epidemic, I think everybody knows that uh, the media was camped out at, at Emory and the CDC because that's where the technology to try to fight this disease is coming from. And it was a natural progression for GeoVax to use our same vaccine constructs that we did for HIV and segue over to Ebola. So what's new? Well, what's new is, is the exciting data that we have on our Ebola program. Remember, we're a second generation uh, product trying to correct for some of the mistakes that we think or, or inconsistencies maybe is a better word to use from some of our competitors that are already out there in that market sp uh, space. And uh, we just uh, reported on some, some data just yesterday uh, stating that we had 100% protection in the uh, preclinical uh, rodent model studies. We did that in collaboration uh, with the NIH. That now leads us into going into non-human primates. So those monkey studies will start this fall. And we want to be in the clinic early uh, Q1 2017. So, you know, the, the, the interesting thing is that, you know, it hasn't been in the news, on front page news, but there's no less still Ebola going uh, uh, rampant in Africa and around the world. So the next time there's an outbreak and it hits the front page news, where will you be? Uh, we hope to be there for it. And, and I think something with, and we don't expect the general public to remember this, but Ebola is spread by fruit bats. And there's probably some other animal models too that, that spread that dreaded disease. And since uh, 20, uh, or or, uh, uh, 1975, there have been something like 28 outbreaks of Ebola. And it's gotten actually uh, increasingly more so in recent years. And now with the mobile population in Africa, you know, it gets to the big cities and people get on airplanes and buses and then it affects more countries. Because it may come from the fruit bat, but it's transmitted by humans to other humans. Exactly. So that's another way of spreading it, actually. So what, now, how big is this market, Bob? I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to put a price tag on the quality of life. But when there is a, a, a need for a drug like this and a test and all of the vaccines that are necessary. How large is this market ultimately? Well, well this, this market, you know, can, can be multi-millions, obviously. But for a small biotech, it's huge for, for, for biotech like us. And we're not sure whether or not some of the World Health Organizations are going to stockpile this uh, vaccine or if the lessons learned after this last epidemic say it's not worth doing this. Let's just go vaccinate these millions of people that would benefit. One of the advantages that we have with our vaccine is that we're using a, a, a what's called an MVA vector, which was a smallpox vector used for smallpox years ago. Similar type of, type of vector technology. And you and I are probably old enough to know you got one uh, injection for smallpox, you have it for the rest of your life. And so that's what we're hoping is going to happen for Ebola. So if, we, if our vaccine is successful in that particular market, uh, one shot would be good for, for a lifetime. You know, I also recollect that when there was a headline, Ebola front page, it seemed like there was a mad scramble to find something to put into the system. Are we past that? Well, there are. Uh, people that went before us. I mean, there were investigators that studied Ebola for years. They put those vaccines up on the shelf. And then when a big epidemic came along, everybody scrambled to, to dust those off. And so those are products that are currently being used for vaccinations of people in Africa. Nothing wrong with that. When you have an epidemic, you do with the tools that you have. But the thing that we forget is that those are not necessarily the best tools. And that's why we always have other generations of products. That's why we have competition. And that's why we're in the scramble with everybody else. Let's switch over to HIV. It's still a growing epidemic. 
It is. And, and again, it's, it's something that the general public forgets about. They think HIV is one of these diseases nowadays that you can just take a couple of pills, take them for life, you live like Magic Johnson. And people forget the, the pain, suffering, and financial burden that goes along with it. And so I will give you a piece of the most shocking news that I only learned a few weeks ago, and I've been in this industry now for years, that the fastest growing population for new cases of HIV is in the 13 to 24 year olds. 10% growth per year in that population, which means that our youngsters and our college students of today ha have no fear of HIV. They, they didn't grow up in, the, in an era where their colleagues were dying off. It's a sad state, which means really comes down to if we're going to get rid of HIV forever, we really need a prophylactic uh, vaccine. So anything else that I'm missing for what's going to be happening in 2016? You want to give us a little insight? Well, for, for the, the remainder of this year and in, into next year, uh, we have some nice support from the NIH. They're going to uh, take our HIV vaccine. They're going to add a, what they call a protein to it. Mm -hmm. They're going to test that. Uh, that program should get off the ground before long. And then, in the, as I said, in our Ebola program, uh, the NIH is in collaboration with us. We're going to work, do that non-human primate study and hopefully start production before the end of the year. So let's give out your website for more information for our audience. We're www.geovax.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Bob McNally, Geovax, G-E-O-V-A-X. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is G-O-V-X. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live on location in New York City. Bob. Shelley, my pleasure. My pleasure.